wait, wait, wait. Don't give up on life yet. Look, God didn't expect you to be perfect. A lot of individuals may hold you at a high standard, high expectation. That's cool. You're not living to please them. Living to please God. Yes, hold yourself to a significant standard. Hold yourself at a higher expectation. But ultimately, to please God, you hold yourself to these high standards and expectations because you expect more out of you. You expect better out of you. When someone speak of you, your name, your work, it's at a high standard with a high expectation, but not to please people. God expected you to be you. God created you to be you, to please him, not to please others. If it please others in the process, cool, bet. But that isn't your aim. You can't please everyone. You can't make everyone else happy. You can't make everyone happy. Focus on making God happy. Focus on making you happy. Give it your best when you are doing work for others. You aim high and doing what you can do that meets your high standard, that meets your high expectation and let your work speak for itself and let them accept your work for what it is as long as you know that you gave it your all as long as you know you gave it your best if they don't accept it, cool it is what it is, but do not come down hard on yourself. Yes, hold yourself accountable. Yes, push yourself. Yes, hold yourself to a high, high standard, high expectation. But as long as you know you gave it your all, you did your best, that's all that matters. There are some who will appreciate that. There are some who will accept what you did. There are some who won't. There are some that will peep that, that you are the GOAT in what you do, but they will still find something wrong with it. They will still talk down. They will still hate. It is what it is as long as you know that you did everything that you could. That's all that matters. Because Why? Because God is pleased with your efforts. God is pleased with your initiative. As long as you know that you put all your all in it, God is pleased with it. As long as you know that you push yourself to the limit, God is pleased with it. Don't allow someone, don't allow others to put this standard on you, put this expectation on you. Because if you're living for their approval, if you're living to please them, you are setting yourself up for failure. You are setting yourself up to be unhappy and not pleased with yourself. That is what we are no longer doing. So do you. Put your all in it. Give it your best. Hold yourself to a higher standard. Hold yourself to a high expectation. Aim and live to please God and yourself. And those who are meant to be for you, those who are meant to be in your circle, will appreciate you. If they criticize you, be able to distinguish constructive criticism to plain being criticized. And that will help you chop off those who are not meant to be around and in your circle, 
opposed to those who are. Embrace you. Embrace your work. Embrace that imperfect person, that flawed person that God has created, called, and purposed you to be. And be okay with that. If they not, it is what it is. You doing you. You, the best you that you know how to be and allow God to put his touch on you. Embrace you. Embrace your work. Embrace you to the fullest. You are the one. Let's go.